rejects you, let it be on online dating apps or even in real life. You don't need to worry, you don't need to cry, just do this. Take a glass of wine like this, sip some. If you are not a wine taker, you can just take a glass of champagne, non-alcoholic, and sip some. Then say this, boy, I pity you because one day you are going to regret rejecting me and at that time I'll be taken. <laughs> Keep on sipping your wine. <laughs> Hi guys, how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing fine. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming back and thank you for your support. I really appreciate you much. God bless you. If you're new here, you are welcome. Please, before you leave this channel, remember to subscribe. And when you subscribe, click that notification bell, that one, it's down there, so that you can be the first one to be notified whenever I upload a new video. I promise you, you are going to enjoy every content that I upload every week. <laughs> <laughs> so friends, as you have seen when I started this video, I was sipping some wine telling you when a man rejects you, you just sip your wine, smile a bit and say one day you are going to regret rejecting me and I want to be available because <laughs> I'll be taken. Yes guys, our today's video will be how to handle rejection as a woman, as a black woman. Let it be from white men or any man of any color. It can be on online dating apps or even in real life because this has been a very big challenge to most ladies and these ladies have been feeling very shy, have been feeling uncomfortable to share this out to their loved ones. So your sister is here to rescue you. If you're someone who is going through rejection or you have been rejected in the past and it has put your self-esteem very low, you feel very bad about yourself because I know the feeling guys, it's not good. <laughs> Feeling rejected by men, it's the worst feeling a lady can feel. I tell you guys, cause you imagine chatting with a man, let's say on online dating apps, and then this white man seems to be good. You think maybe he is the one. Then after chatting for two or three months, this guy tells you, you know what? I've met another woman and I think we should remain friends, me and you. You are a very wonderful lady, but I see you as a friend. Oh my God, it hurts. <laughs> but what I want to tell you guys, it's part of life. When a man rejects you, you just know that it's part of life. Shit happen. <laughs> so just ignore that and keep on with your life. It's part of life. Without wasting much of your time, guys, let us jump into this video. <laughs> My advice number one on how to handle rejection from men, let it be from a white man or any man of any color, on online dating apps or even in real life, never ever doubt yourself when a man rejects you. You start thinking that maybe I am not beautiful enough or maybe it's because of my weight, I am too big or I am too small or it's because of my height, maybe I am too tall <laughs> to his liking or I am too short or maybe it's because of my skin color and some of them say that maybe it's because of the job that I am doing. That is why men are rejecting me. Because last time, in the last video that I did, I got a comment, someone saying that I want to give up on online dating apps because I think men are rejecting me because I am a maid. So this girl is feeling that her job is stopping her from getting a man of her dreams. The truth is that your job is not a problem. Being a maid is a job just like any other jobs as long as you are enjoying what you're doing, you like what you are doing, and it brings food on the table. That's more important. But don't start feeling very bad because you are a maid, then men are rejecting you. It's not a reason. So never doubt yourself at all. Another example that I would like to give you, you see Bella here. <laughs> 
most of you have been telling me Bella you're so beautiful all the time you look beautiful you are smiling a very positive lady yes I am a very positive lady and I am beautiful yes <laughs> But guys, I have my own insecurities on my body because guys, we are not perfect. We are human beings. <laughs> Everyone has got her own insecurities. Even men have got their own insecurities on their bodies. So me saying this, I want you to imagine a lady that you really admire. That lady inspires you so much and you think she's very, very beautiful. Her body is so, so perfect. Just imagine that lady. After imagining that, have you imagined her? If yes, then I want to tell you that she is not perfect. She has got her own insecurities on her body but what we do guys we concentrate we concentrate on the positive side of our bodies we try to dress ourselves according to our body types and hide those insecurities then embrace those parts that you really love most forget about the insecurities on your body and embrace the positive side of it that is how you find that people looking good in whatever they put on then you say you are beautiful yes because she is embracing the positive side of her she is showing you the positive part of her body because <laughs> she hides those insecurities but that one doesn't mean that she is perfect or i am perfect not at all guys so never doubt yourself that you are not beautiful you are beautiful the way you are very very beautiful yes you might not be perfect as human beings we are not perfect but you are beautiful the way you are never doubt yourself just because a man is rejecting you my advice number two on how to handle rejection from white men or any man of any color it can be from online dating apps or even in real life always remind yourself this there is a man out there that god created for you just right for you a man who will understand you a man who will love you the way you are a man who will take care of you a man who will cherish you forever for the rest of his life that man is there waiting for you so why should you be sad for something that is not yours why should you be sad for something that god did not create that thing for you <laughs> there is no need for that so before you start getting depressed just because men have been rejecting you remind yourself that there is that right man for you so you know when i talk i always try to give you some real examples because it's the real talk guys <laughs> when i was connected to my husband and we started getting to know each other so guys you know in a relationship when you are getting to know each other you ask each others the story of the past so my husband was asking me about my past past relationships so i was giving him the stories how men used to play games on me how men chose to marry other ladies and not me <laughs> then my husband was saying oh my god i think those men who were playing games on you they have something wrong in their heads <laughs> how can you do that to such a beautiful lady like you how can you do that <laughs> So sometimes I also receive some comments, some men saying that your husband is lucky to have you. You see guys, but exist men who played games on me, exist men who chose other ladies over me. <laughs> and afterwards, they really regretted, started looking for me, but it was too late. That is why I'm telling you, you don't have to cry. You don't have to go through depression because a man is rejecting you there is that right man for you waiting for you a man who will understand you a man who will see you as the queen <laughs> another example i would like to give you on this so when i was still in africa you can find yourself in a crowd and then passes a couple so this couple when you look at them they are totally different people <laughs> so you find people saying that oh my god that lady mm, 
she's so ugly she's not supposed even to stay with that guy the guy is so cute <laughs> how did she manage to get married to that guy or maybe she used witchcraft on him you know the juju thing <laughs> or maybe she used the juju <laughs> lady doesn't fit that man they're not supposed to be together they are totally different the guy is so cute and the girl is ugly and sometimes vice versa you find people saying that the lady is too beautiful but the guy is ugly how did that guy get that beautiful lady <laughs> So you find people getting surprised and talking about that couple. But the thing is, guys, that lady that you think is ugly to marry that man, <laughs> that man understands the lady and the lady understands the man. That's why they are together. They love each other. It's all about love. It's all about someone who will understand you and love you the way you are. So don't worry at all. <laughs> <laughs> my advice number three on how to handle rejection from white men or any man of any color it can be on online dating apps or even in real life when a man rejects you it's time for you to love yourself love yourself love your life because after loving yourself so much after loving yourself first you will see magic happening to you yes <laughs> trust me on this so love yourself be good at what you are doing if you are working work until you get promoted work so hard if you are studying study until you pass all your exams very very well make sure that you focus on yourself and do the things that you like to do it's all about your life girl if it is leveling up level up but only for yourself not for a man level up look good love yourself dear beautiful ladies be the best version of yourself not the worst version of yourself meaning that you are going to get depressed meaning that you are going to start hating yourself or just because you think a man rejected you or men are rejecting you because you are ugly so you just abandon yourself and be the worst version of yourself no 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 be the best version of yourself by loving yourself by leveling up by embracing your life yes my dear beautiful ladies my advice number four on how to handle rejection it can be from white men or any man of any color on online dating apps or even in real life so if you see men are rejecting you you are receiving a lot of rejection in your relationships that you start with this man let it be you've been chatting on online dating apps or you met this man in real life when you see that most of the times i've been telling you guys if you see something is not working try to think why it is not working think about it don't start complaining not at all because it won't help you don't start being depressed or you go under frustration not at all think of why it isn't working and you'll find a solution so here i'm trying to do some imagination because these are the things that i have been seeing this is a greatest mistake that i have been seeing lots of ladies doing so you know as growing up ladies i'm going to give you my own example when i was a teenager if you ask my classmates they will tell you i used to say that if i don't get married to a tanzanian guy i am going to get married to a black american very tall black you know six packs <laughs> so that was my dream man guys as a teenager yes but growing up life has taught me so much <laughs> That dream man thing does not work guys in real life it doesn't work at all <laughs> if you think guys i am lying go and interview all married ladies and ask them did they get married to those men they used to think when they were teenagers <laughs> ask them and bring the answers <laughs> so what i'm trying to say here guys 
you find a lady is in her late 20s or you are in your 30s or even in your 40s but you still have that mind of a teenager you you find that you have those dreams of a teenager whereby you think that my man will be very very rich my man will be tall light-skinned my man will have six packs <laughs> <laughs> so you have that wish and you still have that mind of a teenager you go on online dating apps you start chatting with these guys that you think oh this is my dream man this is the kind of man that i want a cute cute guy <laughs> they chat with you and afterwards they tell you you know what you're such a beautiful lady you are such a wonderful lady very charming but we can only remain friends do you know why it's because that guy that you think he's so so cute <laughs> he has got also his own wish and maybe his own wish it's not you some other beautiful perfect lady that he will never even find <laughs> so the guy rejects you <laughs> for someone that does not exist so stop that mindset of a teenager please please i would advise you to first look at a guy who will show you that he is very very interested in you he is so crazy in love with you he treats you so good and he plans to spend the rest of his life with you that is all you need to look at when you are looking for a partner yes not start looking at a guy who has six packs a guy who is tall a guy who is cute a guy who is very very rich no and it's a teenager mindset <laughs> yes just forget about that when you do that the whole game is going to change yes it's gonna change because you concentrating on the guy who is very careful you concentrating on to know a guy who has got true love you will find true love you won't be rejected at all yes <laughs> Also guys, to add on this, if you are a lady who always approach men or you are a lady when a guy approaches you, let it be on online dating apps or even in real life, you start going so fast before knowing if the guy is really interested in you or he just saw you and wanted to talk to you. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> but you start going fast, you start thinking that maybe he's the one you start planning having kids with him you start planning the wedding with him <laughs> you should stop that when a guy approaches you when a guy writes you a message on online dating apps go slow just go slow and make the man make efforts to show you that he is really really interested in you he want to be in a love relationship with you that way guys you are going to avoid disappointments <laughs> my advice number five on how to handle rejection from white men or any man of any color on online dating apps or even in real life please never lose your time never waste your time to cry for a man who rejected you never do that mistake why am i saying this it's because that man that you're crying for does not deserve your tears i want to give you an example very quickly one time there was a young lady who was dating a guy and this guy had a problem of staring at other women while he was with this girlfriend then the girlfriend was complaining all the time telling the guy that you know what i don't like this behavior of staring at other ladies while i am here <laughs> i feel jealousy but the guy took that badly and told the girl that let's take a break then the girl asked take a break for how long a guy told her i don't know it can be three months four months six months or even forever a break forever <laughs> so, so the girl cried so much because she really really loved the guy the guy started having very very weird 
thoughts and because I was a very close friend of hers as a big sister she called me and told me that I've locked myself in a room I think of committing suicide I can't live without this man I love him so much all my friends know this guy even my parents knows this guy then he's telling me that let's take a break and, and what hurts me the most he has said that this break can be forever so the girl was really desperate and she was at a point whereby she was hopeless guys i must tell you it was a very very difficult moment even for me because the girl was really determined to take her life so i told god please god help me so that whatever i'm going to tell this girl she will understand me so i talked to this girl and i told her i am going to ask you a question and please answer me in a honest way so you are here crying you want to take your life please can you imagine the other side what is this boyfriend of yours at this moment doing is this guy crying like the way you are crying is this guy thinking of committing suicide just like the way you are thinking answer me in a honest way what is this guy doing now at this moment the girl told me he is out with friends having fun i told her you see <laughs> you see there is no need for you to commit suicide because the guy doesn't feel the same way as you feel i always tell you guys love is two-sided so <laughs> you can't just be the one loving the guy and the guy doesn't feel anything for you no if you are crying and the guy is crying then i would say okay go ahead and commit suicide because the guy wants to commit suicide too but that's not the case a guy is very happy out with friends clubbing even meeting other ladies you are there wanting to commit suicide so this girl understood me and told me you are the best sis now it makes sense <laughs> she forgot everything about committing suicide and to tell you guys last year september she got married to someone else not that guy because they never got back together <laughs> <laughs> so imagine if this girl killed herself or if this girl went through depression destroyed her life just because of the guy who didn't care anything about her just because of the guy who rejected her <laughs> so no need to cry no need to waste your time just because of a man who is rejecting you sip some wine <laughs> And then delete him in your mind just like he never existed because you don't exist too in his mind <laughs> my advice number six on how to handle rejection from white men or any man of any color on online dating apps or even in real life is that stop insisting when a guy rejects you because this has been happening you find a girl is chatting to a guy on online dating apps and then after chatting for a while a guy tells her that you know what i've chatted with you you are a very good girl but i see you as a friend let's only be friends or in real life you find that you see a guy you get a crush on him you start throwing yourself on him he can even take advantage of you sleeps with you then afterwards the guy tells you you know what i see you as a friend nothing can happen between us i wish i could feel the same way as you feel but i don't so because you already in your mind you have put it that the guy is supposed to be your boyfriend you are supposed to have a love relationship he is supposed to be your husband <laughs> You decide to insist and insist and insist. What I'm advising you, stop insisting because it is only the wastage of time. It will never happen, never. If a guy tells you that, I see you as a friend, it will remain like that. It will forever remain like that. Stop insisting because when you insist a lot, a guy will take advantage of you, buy time, when he finds the one that he loves very much that he thinks he can marry he's going to marry that girl and you will feel rejected <laughs> yes you'll feel rejected you'll cry you'll feel very bad but 
if you avoided that mistake from the beginning when he said i see you as a friend take him as a friend then that all wouldn't have happened i think i talked about this in one of my videos it's good to share it again so that if you miss that you can understand stop insisting if you're on online dating apps and then a guy says i see you as a friend please stop that communication because your goal being on a dating site it is not to look for friends you are looking for someone that you're going to create a love relationship with someone that will be your future beloved husband so no need to waste your time on that guy you continue chatting with him sending him messages waiting and waiting until this guy changes his mind and decide to put your relationship in a love relationship but not a friendship zone it won't happen i tell you as a sister because i love you so much and you know i have experience in these things because guys if there is love there is love if a guy doesn't love you he doesn't love you if he doesn't feel anything he doesn't feel anything and he will never feel anything so you don't need to spend the rest of your life trying to prove to this man that you are a very good woman you are a wife material you are a very beautiful lady no need for that don't waste your time move on and keep searching the right man will come very soon trust me so dear friends before i end this video if you're someone who requested a video from me and i haven't uploaded it please just be patient with me i am going to upload those videos very soon i'm still doing some research you know i always research before i bring any video here so just wait keep on waiting keep on enjoying the content that i bring don't think that i have ignored you not at all i'll never do that thank you so much for watching this video till now i really hope you enjoyed so much so if you did please give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are so good you're going to learn a lot of things comment below what you think about this video and please please if you haven't subscribed can you please join the family thank you for subscribing until next time i love you so much once again you are always here in my heart ciao ciao